Hi there, Ben Brophy here, and in the next minute or so, I'm gonna give you a tool which will instantly help you have a much improved Facebook experience. Now, two reasons. Firstly, because time is everything. We only have the same 24 hours every single day, but also because all of your friends and your pages are not created equal. There will be some people that you will want to see and some people that you're not as fussed about seeing their posts. And importantly, right now, with everything that's going on, I realize in particular, that there are some people who maybe have different humours, different viewpoints, different political viewpoints to what you want to see. And I've seen a few posts where people have actually been saying, I don't want to see this or this doesn't interest me. So how you can control that is actually very easily and this will instantly improve your Facebook experience massively. So when you're on a desktop, if you go to any page at all, uh, page or a person, so in this example, I've got art and landscape design, you can see it starred, which means that I'm going to see it first. So one way that you can do this is on your desktop, click on the downward arrow, come down to news feed preferences, and then prioritize who to see first. And now this will show you pages and people, your friends. So if I wanted to select, let's just say, for example, Giles Peterson as a C first, you can see that now has a star above him. If I wanted to scroll down, and again, I could pick any of these, Collective Evolution, Southport Weekend, or whoever. What it will do now is it will prioritize their content when I come back into Facebook and also on my device, my mobile device, so that I see the posts, even if they posted a day ago. Because remember, it's feed-based. So very often, if you don't select C first, then stuff that was posted just a few hours ago may have dropped off your feed. Whereas what you're saying is keep this stuff around and put it to the top of my feed. So really good tool. So that's how you do it that way on the desktop and you can come in and it's change any moment just by clicking on them again so if I want to get rid of that one and I want to say Southport Weekender or Elements of Life then I do that. Okay option number two on the desktop is just to find your friends or the page so let's just say for example I know there's a decent page which is sharing some good stuff at the moment called Unify uh, and they're sharing some nice stuff especially for what's going on at the moment so click on following for whoever this person or the group is and then just select see first now you can select up to 30 people or groups uh, to see first so if you hit your 30 mark and you go for the 31st it will just say you need to modify your list so you just come back down into newsfeed preferences click on prioritize who to see first and then just unselect somebody so sorry Giles Cheerio for the moment and I'm going to select Greg for the moment and there you go so you just keep your search updated to what you want to see at the moment now let's show you the third way which is with your mobile device okay so on your mobile device go into Facebook find the page so let's just say for example BBE records here um, then you click on following and then just select again default or see first or you can unfollow people so let's say I wanted to follow and see the BBE stores post first so remember with this this is about picking people and it will change from time to time that you want to be prioritized of their information so, so you can see now I've hit my 30 limits I would need to go in and let me imagine I go back to BBE records and as much as I love you guys, Pete and the team, I'm just gonna stop seeing them first for the moment. And just because at the moment it's more relevant for me, let's say that I want to see the Dr. Joy Dispense or whoever, you want to see those people's posts first. So this could be family, friends, work colleagues, but this one tip will instantly change the way that you experience Facebook and it will mean that you see more of the stuff that you want to see from the people and the pages that you want to see and less of the stuff that you don't want to see. So there you go. Do have a play around with that and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please do pass it forward and share with others so that we can help give people back more time and help them to have a better experience on this time stealing app. Okay, so take care, be well, look after yourself and your loved ones and I'll share another tip with you soon.